Why would a person choose a mastectomy? Well, there are several different reasons to choose a mastectomy. One might be that that's the best treatment for the cancer, and a person's doctors would indicate that. It was just in the right breast, but he said, since I had the cancer in the right ovary three years before that, and now it's in my right breast, I might want to think about having a double. And it's like, what? <laughs> I don't want to lose one, let alone two. A total mastectomy is complete removal of the breast, so there is not any breast tissue left behind or very minimal breast tissue. In a lumpectomy, the cancer is completely removed, but the normal breast tissue is left behind. So therefore, the normal breast is still there. In a lumpectomy, there needs to be radiation to the breast tissue after the lumpectomy is done. That helps prevent cancer from coming back into the breast. Well, I was supposed to start out by having a lumpectomy, which I did. And um, five days later, they called me and they said they didn't get all the cancer. I had to come back in and have more surgery. I told them I had to have a mastectomy. I wasn't going to mess around anymore. I just didn't have the emotions to do that. In a mastectomy, radiation is generally not required except in certain uh, rare instances. I chose to do a mastectomy, which at the time was not um, what you would maybe call treatment of choice, lumpectomy. Uh, with radiation was, but I was working full time. I didn't want to have to take the time out to go to radiation every day. So I decided to do the mastectomy so that I didn't have to do radiation. I had a lumpectomy and, um, and that was all, lumpectomy and then I had um, chemo followed by radiation. The decision to pick one surgery or the other is a personal decision. Some people want to retain the normal breast and some people do not want to have any breast tissue at all. Because I knew in the back of my mind every day that I would just be worried about it coming back and it was only in one side um, but I knew that I would I would be worried about it every day and it would never leave my mind so I just decided to get them both done because I am so young and I do have a long time to live and I don't want to worry about that every day. And the choice was, you know, to remove one or, and my daughter, luckily, my oldest in Chicago was with me and my husband at the surgeons. And the first thing out of her mouth was, get them both off and get new boobs. <laughs> And that's what I did. I was like, just get it over with. Don't ever take this chance again. I had heard of too many, uh, too, of too many women who had um, just a, a mastectomy only to come back a several years, to, a few years to several years later to find they had a lump in their other breast. And I just kind of thought, you know what, let's just, let's just do it now and not worry about it uh, because I knew I would worry about it. It would be a concern. I knew my husband would worry about it. Um, and I knew, it, I just needed that peace of mind to know that I'm not gonna have to think about it or worry about it. At the end of the day, I'm the, I'm the one that has to be happy with the decision. I mean, I can't really say, you know, you made me do this or something like that because that's not fair to anybody else. It's my body and so I'm the one that has to, have to make the decision. The surgical treatment of breast cancer is part of a multidisciplinary team approach to breast cancer treatment. The good news is that people are living longer and surviving well after breast cancer diagnosis and treatment.